Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dimension Scott back at you once again with a brand new video kicking off the month of October. Now, last time when we got Jurassic World Dominion, later came the controversial Lightyear, and then later, which is uh, last week, which was Thor, Love and Thunder on Blu-ray and DVD and Steelbook, which is, I'm gonna talk about that throughout this video because they did something shocking with that edition in my opinion. And as of late, we did get I Know What You Did Last Summer and even Scream 2 for the first time on 4K. And other than that, there's not nothing else in my mind that really comes to new releases. And we have a guest here. Hey. That little sister of mine is really wild. But let's not waste any more time. Let's go inside and see what we can find. And take a look at this, guys. Look at this display of Thor, Love, and Thunder. Look at all these steelbooks. I have not seen this at all in people's Blu-ray hunting videos. So first up, here's the uh, really nice steelbook for $34.99. That's what it's going for. Some steelbooks down here in the 4K. And that is, that is $29.99 as well more steelbooks and look at this i cannot believe after a really long hiatus since uh 2020 they finally put their slips of marvel movies with slips on them because i just thought that did not make sense for you to leave the blu-ray blank without a slip cover but you put the 4k you get putting the 4ks with slip covers on them though and that is 24.99 i really like this slip cover i'm really happy it's finally back on these Marvel movies. But other than that, this is this is very nice. Okay, in the new release section here, we, we actually got uh I forgot to mention this one, DC League of Super Pets. And we still have plenty of Jurassic World Dominion. And Super Pets is going for $26.99 for the Blu-ray and DVD combo, and the 4K is $32.99. A lot of the same Star Trek editions I showed that last time. Spider-Man No Way Home, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, um, the first Jurassic World. There's still plenty of those slips. I still got The Matrix, which I guess is the new Eternals or Wonder Woman 1984, Moonfall, uh, Lost City, My Hero Academia, No Time to Die. So here on the other side, still got plenty of Thor Love and Steel books. And here's Lightyear I was just talking about. This is actually a kind of cool steel books. Um, the one thing that kind of bugs me that they decided to not bring back Tim Allen, which I know that is in people's minds who really love him as Buzz Lightyear. But here's the Blu-ray with no slip, but your 4K is still there, which is okay. And that is $24.99 for the Blu-ray. And the 4K is $29.99, $34.99. Let me know down in the comments down below. Have you seen Lightyear? What did you think about it? Oh, still got your child's play. I think I showed that one last time. Still got Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Edge of Tomorrow, and another Doctor Strange. Still one left. If you're interested, uh, Black Phone. I heard this is actually a good scary movie. Oh, there's still a lot more. It's Morbin time. Even one more steelbook. Other than that, I'm not seeing anything else. I think this is new. Lost Boys, and that is $25.99. And we have a Warrior. Is this? Yep, Steelbook for $19.99. That's Warrior. Where's Where the Chaw Dads Sing? I don't know. $26.99. Oh, yeah, this is also new. Elvis for $24.99 for the Blu ray, $29.99 for the 4K. And is that everything? Perhaps so. So here we still got those Steelbooks like Resident Evil, Underworld. The Dark Tower, the first Hellboy, I think, and Zombieland for $8.99 still book. Oh, look at this. A Blu-ray, regular Blu-ray for No Way Home. If you guys remember that video I did getting that one, there was no slips at all, except for that one 4K. And the Amazing Spider-Man, which I think are some actually really good Spider-Man movies. Not a lot of people like them. Uh Venom Let to be Carnes and Rand Land randomly. Don't breathe. Resident Evil, Ghostbusters, and pretty much the same. But here on the other side, not as much has changed. Not as much as 
chains, but they actually put the Beware My Power over here, Steelbook, Godzilla vs. Kong. If you guys haven't picked that up yet for $12.99, uh, 1917, 300. And this this has actually got a brand new new release where you can actually get the whole movie without buying the two parts separately. But other than that, that's just about it. So on this rack, there's plenty of 1917 4Ks with with slips on them, which is absolutely nice. Apocalypse Now, Baby Driver, uh, Memory Fire Starter, Doom, Chaos Walking, uh, La La Land, and there's actually two steel books left of Terminator 2. I think this is actually a cool steel book. Ultraman. Other than that, on the other side we got a light year uh, display, and like I said before, the 4K little mini section is still the same. But uh, I do want to say about Zack Snyder's Justice League, I do plan on double dipping on that one. So here on the big rack, and take a look at this. We got got one, two, three steel books of screen two for the first time on 4K blue, 4K and Blu-ray digital code. And that is $24.99. That's excellent. And yeah, next year, catch me if you can for $14.99. And another Star Trek, which I was never, never really into Star Trek at all. Oh, oh I think this is brand new. It's uh, Screen Factory, Shell Factory, right? Platon, right? That's how you pronounce that? Platon. I, I'm not sure. The meaning of life and these are really nice $29.99 still got Jurassic World Dominion oh yeah Army of Darkness I saw these in some videos for $32.99 Army of Darkness including a steelbook and look here Friday the 13th but this is only 4k my rule is to never buy any 4ks until I get a 4k player so I don't buy these editions with only 4K. They have to have a Blu-ray inside, in my opinion. Yeah, the Aiden's family, and there's plenty of Steelbooks of Love and Thunder. I guess nobody, not a lot of people wanted that one. And the 4K next to it. All these Star Wars editions, ain't none of them with slip covers except for the controversial Last Jedi. No slip covers. They really need to go on sale for me to go pull the trigger. And I really, really like this Friday the 13th 8 movie collection. That's a that's gonna be at some point. And you got three original Halloweens, Screen Factory. I'm gonna buy that but two someday. I can't really uh move back because there are so many TVs behind me. Uh, um other than that. Not looking at anything, any difference or any shocking. And if you guys see my video, I just got, I just got injustice thanks to my good friend Ray. Uh, I still see some Chucky season one. I haven't seen this, I haven't seen this yet. Still got those Eternal Steel books. Northman without any slips. But we're gonna take a look at the other side after this. Okay, so here on the other side, I don't think I don't see anything really all brand new here. And hey, Mortal Kombat's going for $21.99. Hmm. And I, I was actually pointing this one out. And maybe this is the right time for me to get this. Because this is actually still $8.99. So you don't have this and then what are you waiting for? Shoo. I guess other than that, that's all I have to see in here. And real quick with the television side, as as usual, Smallville, Game of Thrones, Friends, French Prince of Bel-Air, um, Battlestar, Yep, yep. I think that'll do for now. I enjoyed it. Um, very comedic. 
very action packed. Um, unfortunately, Jane did the part with us. Um, it was good though. What I really loved about it was I'm really happy uh, Natalie Portman got to reprise her role and become Mighty Thor because that, in my opinion, was absent from Ragnarok. I don't even know who Natalie Portman is. <laughs> this is why you leave the bottom of the ocean alone. Stay from down now. It's technically a ripoff from the uh, 1970s uh, horror movie Alien film. Because you got um, creatures, scary creatures on the water. Alien was out of space, though. True. But uh, aliens could probably sure be underwater. Because I watched it one time on stream, and it kept reminding me of uh, the original Ridley Scott Alien movie. Well, maybe they just took a lot of inspiration from it, but I think it's two different topics. Um, I think we should just leave the bottom of the ocean alone because some shit like that is probably really down now. So what is more scary, underwater or out of space? Underwater. I take that as a yes. Yeah, I feel like underwater is more scary. Okay guys, we're out of Best Buy. Hope you enjoy all that exploring and that shockingly display of Thor Love and Thunder. And you guys know it, we did get a brand new steelbook. If Durant Cinema, if you're watching this video, I bet you'll be really happy I got a steel book because you are the steel book king. Shout out to you. But I really like this steel book. It's got Thor on it. And you got the back on it. And I'm pretty sure uh, Jane Foster's uh, Thor is inside of the artwork from the unboxings I've been watching. But we got uh, the steel book. I actually was debating on the uh, Blu-ray because they shockingly put a slipcover back on that those Marvel editions after a quite some time hiatus. And we also got a, a bonus one here for $8.99. Underwater here starring Christian Stewart. Pretty decent horror movie. It's a more focused horror movie underwater that in my opinion took inspiration from the Alien film. So that's it guys. And with all that being said, guys, we're going to bring this video to an end. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe button if you adore physical media. And we will catch you all later. Keep physical media alive. <laughs> Keep <laughs>